hey guys welcome back to my channel i think i need to put a timer because i'm telling you it's 1 43 i need to be out of here by hopefully latest 2 30. today i'm doing questions you know from the other video i'm trying to look for my clock and set like a 45 minutes timer from the other video i didn't tackle even like half of the questions that i had gotten so we're gonna answer some of them today and i'll try my best not to yap so much i am on vacation that's why i'm outside here because my room doesn't have any what is it called i applied too much on this one so i should have blown the powder up first this technique i'm in diani so obviously it's very hot like super hot if you live in a hot hot area and you want your makeup not to budge i know it looks crazy but start with this step of like adding powder on your makeup on your face first after you have done skincare never skip skincare like even if you live in a hot area you can see how much my face was shiny so just add some powder on your problematic areas and then we will go in with foundation just a bit not a lot so i normally just put on these teason areas i did this last time and my makeup didn't budge i went to the beach i took a border i was exposed to the sun and my makeup didn't budge at all at all at all that in i'm going in with a matte setting spray i'll have this makeup on for only like two two and a half okay three hours i'm leaving today but i have a reservation to go and eat sushi so i just decided let me glam up so let me start with the first question um any question that i was being asked about my breakup guys One day I'll give you guys the story time. Not now, not anytime soon, but like eventually. But basically, um, cause I've gotten so many questions. Where did your last relationship end? All and all these. It was not working, and I wish I did it early, but it's okay. I have learned things so that I can tell you guys so that you don't do those things. Let me start with eyebrow gel if your relationship is not working and you know it and you have been knowing since the beginning or like for a while even if it's not since the beginning just it's not gonna change just end it now trust me i know i look crazy right now please just ignore that let me glue down my eyebrows first I should, probably should not have added powder on my eyebrows but it's okay we're gonna figure that out or like postponing trust you me it's gonna be better for you for the person you're dating the earlier you do it so that everybody can move on with their life everybody anyway trust me if you're waiting for things to change that have been patterned since day one or like since i don't know when they won't they won't they won't at all i promise you that so the earlier you make peace with it find the courage and keep it moving the better for you so i'm going in with my foundation oh i didn't want to use this foundation because i have turned i don't know if this foundation is going to match me anyway let's start with the question somebody asked i had already read it but i've forgotten it how has um how has being out impacted your friendships um wait. has it i don't know if it has really i mean it i wanted to use this as my foundation this shade because i have turned quite a bit but let me see if this one is gonna match me still this is maybelline 355 right yeah 355 coconut so me coming out i don't think it has because i genuinely honestly could not care less if like i had friends and not because i'm out they decide to like they don't want to be my friend i would just literally just stop being friends with them because like what do you mean 
um but anyway most of the friends that i had before who are like i don't know if i can even call them friends maybe acquaintances like people of going out and stuff like most of them i stopped being friends with them a long time ago it, and it wasn't even anything personal i just felt like i had evolved from that plus it was not like a serious deep friendship so and even that i wouldn't honestly if you're friends with someone and like after you come out um they choose they don't want to be your friend anymore um that speaks a lot about who they are as a person and also maybe their beliefs maybe they're i don't know religious or something and like they have their own issues i'll just say it would suck and it's painful but you're not gonna like deny a part of you just because you want to keep friends who don't accept who you are as a person like just keep it pushing you will find other friends who are meant to be for you honestly i don't care if they judge me they judge me if they don't good so yeah if you have friends who are giving a hard you a hard time about coming out if it's some i would say like just let them go if it's somebody who is willing like to learn and like understand this new version of you yeah by all means then keep being friends with them because they might need time to process and like catch up but if somebody is telling you they can't be friends with you because you come out and you're gay baby girl do you really need such friends like yeah that's my take on that let's keep moving because i'm gonna up too much um do you want to have kids i feel like i answered that in the other video what's your take on being friendly with neighbors is it necessary um i feel like it depends friends friendly as in, in terms of what um friendly like i i think you should be friendly with your neighbors and unless like they have harmed you because you know they're your name neighbors at some point like you're gonna have to interact even if it's just saying, saying hi to each other in case you meet at the corridors or like stairs or elevator or something um you can be cordial with them friendly with them it doesn't mean you have to be best friends and also it depends with the type of neighbor you have are they nice you know some neighbors some neighbors are our hala so yeah i think you should be friendly doesn't mean you have to be friends unless you want to be friends but you should be friendly as long as you're not using each other if somebody's t taking advantage of you whether it's your neighbor or what you don't have to if like your neighbor is using your wi-fi and all the time and if you tell them to contribute to pay they don't want to like they seriously this is just somebody who wants to use you i don't think you should like if their energy is bad you should be like you guys get it the basics if they're nice people cool people yeah sure why not be friendly you don't have to be best friends but like you know be friendly to your fellow human beings especially your neighbor you might need them they might need you like i have a quite nice neighbor at this current moment who moved in recently and we plan to sometimes we normally if she's available we go to parties together oh she's queer too so i think we also bond over that yeah we talk to each other once in a while when we meet in the hallways once in a while we say hi to each other we catch up we go like you know such stuff she's nice so, but if you don't have a nice neighbor don't do it if somebody is using you be aware yeah okay what's the other question um i'm getting so many questions about nini breakups um do you think fighting in relationships is okay i think it is is there any relationship that people don't fight like okay let me say more of arguing if it's physical then it's a no-no like why is that okay at all you shouldn't nothing whether it's friendship relationship it never it should never get physically abusive um so if you mean like arguing yeah as long as it's not verbally emotionally i'm laughing because you guys you guys you have hey 
I'm laughing because I had to learn. Sometimes abuse is not always just physical, so and verbal and emotional abuse that has does not have to be somebody literally calling you out of your name, like calling you a dog or something. Please look up videos on that. So I think it's okay to argue like everything, even in friendships, like you're two different people from two different worlds. I'm sorry guys, I hope you could hear me. You're two different people from very different worlds, childhoods, you have different opinions. Yeah, I think you're gonna come into some disagreements, but it should always be solved amicably and respectfully, you know no shouting no yelling no cursing out on, at each other trust me especially if it's a pattern like somebody is always shouting always yelling always projecting always playing with, like if people if somebody is giving you silent treatment oh god I, I don't know how much i can emphasize on how dangerous and harmful and abusive silent treatment is and stonewalling which is part of that then arguing i feel like having disagreements it's quite normal but if you feel like you're losing part of yourself in the disagreements you feel like all the time you never get hurt you never nini and you have tried to have a conversation about that with your friends with your partner then i think it's time to say bye bye <laughs> trust you me because sometimes you will try so much so much to make things work and probably they are not meant to work trust me so yeah fighting arguing it's normal because nobody is perfect plus you're all different you have different opinion not everything you're gonna agree but again you can always sit down discuss maybe look for a compromise <laughs> but if it's physical no it's not gonna change if it happens once it will happen again even if it's after 10 years trust you me it's not it like the chances maybe like two percent or maybe five percent but 95 percent will not change if somebody is always yelling it's not like somebody has yelled once in six months or once a year like always uh -uh. and also let's normalize i this is something that i have learned and i'm gonna tell you guys maybe some people might not agree but they all the things that i'm saying you're open to having your own like or expressing your own opinion like how about Cheney, like what you think about it um yes i know we should fight for things we should fight for relationships friendships family but sometimes if you're trying to fight for something and clearly it's not working if you have been fighting for something for six months i feel like six months it's it's like the least amount of time if you like if you've been trying to fight for something for six months for a year for two years you still think it's going to work and also if you're fighting for something alone outside like literally that's wrong and should not be happening if you're ever fighting for something by yourself trust you me <laughs> friendship relationship and i've come to realize like even in friendships these things are not just for relationships guys oh god like it's okay it's okay you're gonna feel the pain but it's better than any type of situation where you feel like you're having to work for something that you know very well you deserve and the other person doesn't literally like care much about it because most of the time the person who is fighting for it and the other person is not the person who is not is usually the one who is mostly benefiting so please yeah it's normal to have disagreement fighting physical no it's not and fighting for relationship yeah sure you can do the work you can make sure that you guys are showing up for each other but if you're trying too hard i don't think it's meant to be like trying too hard in terms of like clearly if this is not working your partner is not working together with you your friend is not working together with you it's okay you will literally the moment you accept it and know that you will find somebody else or like you will learn how to set boundaries and to show up for yourself and choose yourself things will get better and you will wish that you didn't fight for something alone if something involves two people and you're the only one who is fighting for it it doesn't exist if it's your life and you're fighting for it your dreams alone because they're your things but if you're in a relationship in a friendship in a family like you're there are other people and you're the only one who is doing the work and services but you're being used 
next question um x in women that turn you off oh my god let me tell you guys i hate shallow i like i can have liked you so much and then the moment i interact with you once twice and i see like you're shallow i really can't i i can't i i cannot date you i cannot friendship i can yeah juju but like date you babe no no like i need somebody who is versatile somebody i can go super deep with and i can when it comes to banter like things i can do but if you just like banter all the time when service level i cannot i genuinely cannot and nowadays i have learned a new thing because there are people who pretend they are deep but in real sense they're trying to hide how shallow they are so you have to look out for that too <laughs> i know the one is crazy like the some of the things that i have come to learn i, I kind of like feel like i'm grieving part of myself that thought that people are like just as well intentioned and like like see let me just say not even that let me say i'm kind of grieving a part of me that thought that everybody sees the world and people the same way that i do because there are some people who don't and they could give zero facts about you zero facts they're out for themselves and trust you me it's everywhere family friends relationships everywhere so yeah um that i have had to process and i have had to like eh, i think and um, i think i'm still learning that not everybody sees life the same way some people see life um with tiger eyes others see life with like monkey eyes like you know we all have different perspectives um uh, or rather <laughs> let me not try to justify some people out here they're just not nice and like if you walk around thinking that everybody is nice just because you're nice to them kitakuramba that's something i have come to learn and i'm still learning child for real not that uh, i'm a perfect person but like i'm telling you i've even watched videos that are talking about these shout out to dr ramani man anyway um shallowness service levelness something else that i don't like in a babe if you're you're not empathetic if you're not somebody who is kind if you're not somebody and not to me just in people in every to everyone in general i'm not saying like i'm expecting you to be perfect be kind a hundred percent i'm very sure like that is not possible but like if you're a rigid person if you're an antagonistic person ah, 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 oh no 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 i also really i can't any do any of that if you can't communicate if you can't tell me this is what i'm feeling even though i'm not sure just give me a few to process my emotion to put it together and then i'll come back to you and talk i i'm also not dating you um yeah i'm not gonna give you guys all my cheat codes but those are not even things that are only supposed to be in women everyone as long as you're out there dating being friends with people don't do it antagonistic people people who are just rigid people who are like you know people who are not calm i'm just gonna say that if somebody is not doesn't have a calm nervous system i'm not dating them and like even when your nervous system is not calm you can articulate yourself and let me know and like, kind of like let me know what is going on with you and even if you don't know what is going on with you you let me know that you feel like somebody something is going on with you but you, you don't know exactly why and then i you know we can figure it out together Ama, i can give you time to figure out or like you know as in ciao like all these things like people are rude i've already said that i don't want it i literally cannot do it but yeah those are the things that turn me off i've said Ag up your aggressive oh aggressiveness rigidity um somebody with arrogance somebody who lacks empathy somebody who is antagonistic guys go and look up 
are like antagonistic people and their characteristics and, and peer rigid people it's kind of like the same yeah you know i want somebody who can tell me this is i'm not okay this is what i'm going through or like i'm not okay and i don't know a hundred percent what I, it is but i'm willing to figure out and tell you like i've told you guys peer silent treatment no also also before i forget somebody who lacks any passion any like drive any like hobbies any somebody like who kind of doesn't have a sense of self like it really really irritates me like if i ask you what do you like what would you like to do on at your free time like what are you passionate about and you don't have you like it kind of throws me off like i know if you're young probably you don't know those things but like at our age i feel like i don't like i i I also like somebody who is can you know flexible flexible when it comes to thinking with growth with plants and stuff i like that i don't think that's so much to ask anyway next question somebody asked um how to detach i have attachment issues in relationships if you have attachment issues you probably have um anxious attachment therefore attachment styles anxious fearful avoidant aka disorganized and then there is dismissive and then there is this secure attachment so i would highly advise you to go and um look up attachment style like this is a lot of work this includes inner child work reparenting shadow work and it's not easy and it's gonna be hard and you won't get it at your first try it would take months or even years for you to practice like to fully get there but the moment you get the knowledge and you start practicing and you start trying your best to respond differently in these situations like because let me tell you most of the time if you're having a hard time detaching trust you me and it's a situation that you know very well you should detach and this is not good for you it's because you have idealized that person or that job or like that whatever situation it is you have projected good qualities into it and you feel like if you lose it something about you it it, it means something about you and like maybe you feel like how am i gonna make it if this some person leaves me you might also have fear of abandonment listen you are okay you as a person alone if you are grown up trust you me you're not gonna be okay you can't be abandoned this is something that i had to learn and i do validate fear of abandonment a lot because it's also something that i used to struggle with and that time i didn't have any tools and even when i got tools it took it still took some time to like unlearn the anxiety that comes from fear of abandonment oh my gosh my makeup i need to like blend it quickly so look into attachment styles know that you are the main character in your life don't idealize somebody else somebody else living it has nothing to do with you it all has something to do with your own, own journey unless like you're not a good partner to them if you're a good partner to them it has nothing to do with you that's their choice another thing when it comes to attachment issues in a relationship look what look for what what is the main reason ask yourself what is the main reason what is one thing that i feel like if this person leaves or if this thing ends that i'm not gonna have is it attention is it security like security in terms of emotional security are they my safety net are they like am i am i scared of being alone am i gonna feel unworthy because somebody's left me and know that all those things they are not true and first of all you have to know that those things you can give them to yourself like somebody else being in your life i think i talked about this in my blog which i don't know if you're gonna watch this before or after somebody else being in your life it's an addition anything that you're looking to some from for in somebody else especially the emotional mental stuff like you can get in in yourself and you're not gonna die try look for things that you like another thing when it comes to attachment look for things that you love things that give you so that your life can stop revolving around that person that you're attached to or that thing that you're attached to i don't know if you like knitting 
if you like hanging out with your friends go and hang out with them if you like whatever it is that you like start living your life start look stop looking at somebody else to guide you like to tell you if you're okay um yeah look at into fear of abandonment attachment styles and how to stop putting people on a pedestal listen to meditations i used to listen and sleep with a meditation of um healing from fear of abandonment like it would play i would wake up in the middle of the night and it's still playing and it's playing like it works so try and do that and you're gonna be okay trust me you're gonna be okay it might hurt but you're gonna be okay i promise 100 percent. oh and something else that i wanted to say is um be patient with yourself again keep learning and know that it's gonna get take some time before you fully are able to practice everything that you have learned try your best when you're triggered to practice what you have learned but i'm gonna tell you the first few times it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy but with time and the more you get more aware about it and you practice more it's gonna be easy sometimes you will try to apply like what you're learning it will fail you won't manage to you still react the same way um you're used to reacting when you feel that fear of abandonment or like the anxiety that comes from attachment issues and by the way it's not only anxious people that are supposed to work on it even the like avoidant people both fearful and dismissive i'm talking as a former fearful avoidant it doesn't mean i still don't get anxiety at times but like not that i do try my best to like really calm myself keep myself busy like apply all the things that i have learned and i would say i've gotten more and more secure and i know with time i'm gonna be fully secure <laughs> go and watch videos on that those attachment styles um how do you manage to speak out about yourself i'm trying but it's hard speak out in terms of what um do you mean like speak up at work in relationships in friendships in family or like set boundaries and stuff is that what you mean for that i'm just gonna tell you you're gonna have to try try even if you fail i feel like everything in life is trying even if you fail just try start by trying and the more you keep trying the better you're gonna get at it just know i feel like with that you have to do a lot of self-belief work like just know that you deserve whatever it is that you want to if you want to speak up about your needs getting met know you deserve for your needs to get met and anybody who is not willing to meet your needs then they are not your person they are not your friend they are not meant to be in your life whether it's a boss like if somebody and you want you want to speak up you deserve to be hurt you deserve to tell people when they have wronged you because the thing with not speaking up is um you people play you you get played like or rather you get hurt and then when you don't speak up that means you don't get to set boundaries you will find yourself complaining about the same thing over and over again and this i'm also telling myself that because i know there are some areas recently especially i have been like um complaining about and like it's things that i can literally change sometimes you have to ask yourself why you are so scared of speaking out and just know you deserve to speak out whatever it is maybe you're afraid of setting boundaries because sometimes when we speak up we have to lose people we have to lose things and maybe subconsciously we are not okay with that we are afraid of that so it's a lot but practice the more you practice the better you get at it and i'm telling you if you don't speak up for yourself then you can't compl keep complaining because you have not spoken up about it yet the first time the second time the, maybe even the third time we can say okay it's that other person's fault you, but like if it's something that you have not spoken up yet and then we can still blame someone if you have spoken up a couple of times and they're not listening you can you can know you know that it's not your fault you're denying yourself a lot and also sometimes all you need to do is speak up and you never know the person you're speaking up to might listen 
to you and maybe they are more than willing to meet your needs and listen to you but if you don't speak up you're not giving people the chance to show you who they are because you'll never know again you're all learning i'm also learning that right now if you don't speak up um you'll never know who is your person who is not your person in terms like who is there for you who is not because you've not spoken up they have not shown you you have not given yourself the the opportunity to see who a person is because if you speak up and people don't meet you or rather like meet your needs or whatever it is that you have spoken up about then that way you will know you that, that way you won't know like if this is somebody you're supposed to keep in your life or not so speak up you deserve it you deserve good things and if somebody who you're speaking up to doesn't want to listen that's their problem they can keep on moving although i know setting boundaries at first it can be quite difficult and it's scary especially if you're a people pleaser but like trust me you're gonna be okay that's my answer on everything you're gonna be okay i think this is gonna be my last last question because um the cottage is next to me they're getting occupied and it's starting to get a bit crowded <laughs> like this couple of people around and also i need to rush because i'm checking out today uh, let me see one more question um are you mentally okay right now at this current moment yes i am yes ma'am thank you for asking and i hope you guys are okay too and if you're not okay you're gonna be okay just don't give up never give up feel the pain feel whatever it is that you're going through and then when you feel like you have the courage to look for tools to like take you to the next step don't beat yourself up too much just never give up um, let me see i'm trying to see if there's some questions that i can answer right now quickly quickly a lot of questions about breakups and how to move on i'll do a video on that separately oops my time is even up you know what i'll just stop there i stop there let me finish up my makeup because i'm going to a certain restaurant and you know i don't want to be late i'm putting some shimmer i don't even think you can see because it's a gold shimmer and i'm quite bronzy the lighting is a bit quite fucked up so i don't know if you can even see my makeup i know it looks kind of hideous but it will all come out together let me see if there's a question that one more just a last one uh -huh. somebody asked what i do for a living i thought that was so obvious Ama, i'm just curious why somebody asked that i'm a content creator and i'm a business woman i sell wigs but then i saw somebody comment on this nini i do a wig sale for november and actually i'm gonna do it very soon once i go back to nairobi like in about a week or two i'm gonna do a wig sale i have like a couple of wigs that i wanna sell so get your chums ready um most of the wigs almost all of them they're gonna range from 15k to 20k i don't think okay there's some that are above 20k but most of them are around that price so if you guys want them please save up your money um and i'm gonna do a wig sale all the wigs that i do are human hair 100 percent human hair so if you wanna and i'm gonna sell them at a discounted price compared to what how much you would buy them for so yeah be ready be ready be ready be ready so i'm a content creator i work with brands i do youtube i sell wigs what else do i do i'm a makeup artist although i've not done makeup in a while so you guys book me book me for makeup what else can i tell you i do 
yeah i sell makeup i have a cosmetics shop that's what i do and i live i live my life how i'm supposed to live i don't have anybody who pays for my bills nobody trust you me guys because i know a lot of people speculate about content creators trust me i don't if that's what they meant by that question i don't have anyone this brush this tip as my highlighting brush because i can't find the highlighter brush that i had i'm so excited to go and eat sushi gosh i need to rush so guys i'm done this is the final look honestly i don't know how to do my makeup is looking but we're just gonna go with it i used this lipstick with this lip liner and then set my makeup with the urban decay setting spray the goat the goat i really hope that you enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me and i gonna finish the rest because i have like 20 more questions or maybe 16 to answer when i get back to nairobi thank you for watching this is the final look don't judge me you guys know my work i don't know lighting plus like just the conditions that i have done it but thank you for watching i still like it i think it looks cute although my eyes are freaking like tearing like so much thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you all in another video bye